I figured once COVID started, I should do something. And so I decided to build a robot um, and then figure out what the hell to do with said robot. A Vancouver local is proving that even a pandemic can't put a stop to his creativity. The 33 year old has created a robot inside his apartment and named it after Dr. Bonnie Henry with a grand plan to combat global warming. With global warming, the biggest issue with it is it's just big. Like it's just, it's, it, it's just really big. The solution to it's fairly easy. Um, you take a whole bunch of CO2 out of the atmosphere and you're good. Uh, but the amount of CO2 you need to take out of the atmosphere is just ridiculous. Um, and likely there's not, from my perspective, there's very little we humans are going to be able to do about that. It's just too big of a problem. Um, and so to handle the scale of it, robots. Robots can handle the scale, um, both in the scale of just like uh, sheer quantity of carbon, like moving, just moving that carbon around, whatever the hell that means. Um, but also over time, because this is going to take decades, if not centuries, to correct. So there's the scale of time there too. He's added an ambitious goal to the Kickstarter page, hoping to raise $10 million to see his vision come to life. I could have made it lower, like obviously to make it more successful at actually succeeding. But for me to actually do what I'm saying, it's going to cause, like I need to buy land, I need to, you know, build robots that don't actually exist, I need to invent it. Uh, yeah, so it's 10 now. Um, which, in some senses, is like, some circles is not a big number. Like, if you're in the entrepreneurship, startup, Silicon Valley, 10 mil, ah, you know, it's nothing. But for me, I'm like, like, being grad students and like on serve and it's like yeah no 10 mil yeah mm, it's completely ridiculous you can find the link to his kickstarter page in the article forecast state news in Kelowna. i'm laura brooks